Today's spooky spot, spots having a look at the Monster 500 Expert Mentals. Number three, Flat Top Frank. No, he's not shrunk in Spot's hand. This is actually a smaller version. These are the more die-cast cars. We've already had a look at the sound effect cars. Let's have a look at the smaller miniature cars. Recommended for ages four and up. There's also a trading card inside. Spin around the back of the package. Invasion 1 consists of the Zoom Zombie, the Evil Clown Evil. That's a really neat name. Leadfoot, Crockpot, and Flaptop Frank. Collect them all or else. Or else? Or else. Also, there is the uh, Monster 500 code inside, if you want to use that. Spot's actually been playing the game, and I think it's actually pretty fun. Kind of just reminds me of a uh, Mario Kart just with monsters. The only criticism I could probably make about the game is that it's one of those, you know, you have to angle it as opposed to being able just to use like a little joystick, the invisible joysticks on the phone. So kind of wish it was that instead of more the, the tipping one, but still, it's pretty cool. Spot's going to take a very terrifying break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Monster 500, number three, Flat Top Frank. More anyway, guys, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Flat Top Frank will come with his own trading card. It says Flat Out Fast. Number three, Flat Top Frank, the expert mentals. On the back, there's a Monster 500 code for you, everybody. It says the Lunk, he may be a little slow witted, but he's flat out fast. When the other drivers make fun of him, Frank gets enraged. And that makes him drive more aggressively. Ultimately, he just wants to show that he's as good as the rest of the drivers. His motive is belonging, which I think we can all relate to. Strength, powerful bursts of rage, weakness, slow-witted. Vehicle, the, the rage roadster. And quote is, grrr. He's not that evil. Don't worry, guys. Flat Top Frank is not evil. Or he's not that evil. He's still evil. Don't kid yourself. He'll rip your head off if he had the chance. But he's not that not that evil. Put that to the side. Let's actually just put that right there. Let's have a look at Flat Top Frank. A lot smaller than the ones that we already had a look at. Those were a lot bigger and they lit up. Remember his engine, I think, glowed red and he also made some revving noises and growling. This one doesn't have that. What you get in, in ex instead, the trade-off is you just get a little die-cast car. Some of it is die-cast, some of it is metal. At least it feels like it could be metal. Maybe it's just a really heavy plastic, but it does feel like maybe the bottom is uh, is a metal base. So free rolling tires rolls very, very, very easily, very easily. And much like the larger one, Flat Top Frank is sitting above, well, kind of sticking sticking outside of his car, and he's got the one. I guess that's the throttle. I don't know. I don't really know. That's not the steer. Maybe it is the steering wheel. You would be surprised if this guy actually could get around corners and win a race just by that one control that he's got on there. But maybe it's just a joystick. I'm not really sure. The coloring, much like the large one too, Flat Top Frank's got a kind of purplish colored hand on one, more of a gray arm on the other, and his face is more kind of a off gray color. There's no posability to it. That's not really why you're getting it. You're getting it because it's a terrifying monster driving around in what kind of looks like a Jeep or an SUV. Spot's going to be having a look at more of these during the month of Spottober. Yes, we are still going to be covering some spooktacular spots. Today's a spooky spot. We are having a look at the Monster 500, the smaller Flat Top Frank. Spot would have also done a comparison with the larger Flat Top Frank. I don't know where it went. I think he just drove off. He probably didn't go very far based on the kind of control stick that he's got to work with, but still, he's vanished. Vanished into oblivion. Ha ha ha! Okay, maybe not. Today's spooktacular spot, we're having a look at the Flat Top Frank from Monster 500. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more spooky spots hang your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ha ha ha!